What's up guys, this is Heat. I recently did a Brutus kill race where uh, I did pretty well as a shadow. I got number two overall, number two shadow, posted an 11 minute and 23 second Brutus kill. And then um, I did a commentary session after the race with uh, some Twitch viewers who had questions in particular of how to read map layouts. So I thought I would edit a, a video with the commentary that took place after that race. So what you'll probably be seeing here is a commentary and analysis video on reading uh, map layouts from starting from Coast to uh, Brutus. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. Yeah, so it was kind of a straight shot. It wasn't too trolly. I just went this way. Like this. And so the reason I actually uh, skipped it was because as I came this way, I actually came through this entrance instead of this one. So I just went straight, right? Because instead of going down, you would save some time. That's why I skipped it. So the way I played this one, mud flats. I just I just followed the coast like this. I saw as soon as I saw it break, I just followed it. Got it here, and then I followed it again here. And then I moved a little bit this way and saw immediately that it broke into the wall. So I just uh, came back and followed this. And then from here, I figured it's either bottom bottom right because usually because of this layout, I just kind of guessed bottom right, because it was close. If you're already close to the wall, and to the right side, you might as well guess bottom right. So as I was moving this way, I saw it break like this, so I just went. So that's how I played Mud Flats. Yeah, like I, like I initially went here, then I went here, so two dead ends. Then I went here, I hit three dead ends. But after that, it was kind of straight. I didn't really mess, miss it. It's interesting because usually the map flows in this direction continuously. But in this case, it actually dead ended this whole plane because I was trying to explore here and here, right? But in this case, it actually went left, which is weird. Prison itself, from the waypoint, I always go left, always. Uh, that's just what I do. And so if you always go left, the reason I go left is because if you hit a dead end going left, it's usually a short dead end. Like it doesn't circle, circle you into like a giant thing where it leads into a dead end, it's pretty short. And there are some layouts where you can realize that it's a dead end without actually even reaching it. So you can backtrack immediately. But if you go left and it's not a dead end, then you know, you're good to go. But if it is, it's usually short. So you can circle back around and go this way. And you know, that's the way to go. But in this case, the first thing I did is went left and then I just followed every door. It was pretty straightforward. Like there's nowhere nowhere else to go here. And I just kept, kept going. I just kept seeing doors and that's how I played it. I just felt it out. Cause usually like in this map, it's not gonna be, like the reason I didn't go left, it's usually cause it's not gonna be back to, towards where the entrance is, right? It's not gonna be back this way. So why would you move back left? So I just kept going forward. I always go up uh, when I come into upper prison. And here, so you have two options. You have this one and you have this one. Uh, in my mind, the exit, I mean, the, the warden's chambers, it's probably not going to be immediate left like this. I think maybe there's some layouts like that. Maybe I've seen it, but usually not. So that's why I chose this door. When you come here, you don't 
these are usually ended like this. There's usually a wall to these. You just recognize this from playing a lot. So you don't go in any of those. And you don't circle back this way. Because if you wanted to go that way in the first place, you would have went this way, right? Right when you entered. So I follow this flow. Like this. And, and I never, you know, you keep moving forward, like how the map lays it out for you. You don't want to move back. So, like, if this was a dead end, sometimes the circle is like this, and then you go this way uh, for the warden's chambers, but it didn't. So I just kept following the doors. Yeah, upper, upper... I don't know. I think I might have got lucky on guessing, or I might have just read it really well. Uh, comes with experience and luck. RNG, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> RNG guessing with some intuition and some thinking behind it. Like I said, like here, why would you go this way? If you've already chosen to go right, you would have, if you wanted to go left in the first place, right? Like this. Sometimes this. So another thing is, there, when you enter upper prison, sometimes there's a door here, like right here. And if there's a door here, right, you can just go through it. But in this case, there wasn't a door here. So meaning that going this way was probably the wrong way to go. Like sometimes you can flow through like this and the map will lead you like uh, that way. But since it wasn't here in the first place, I kind of had some intuition that this was the wrong way to go. Yeah, but the big decision is is this going... I always go right, and the big thing here was choosing this door. Because from there on, it was kind of straight... Not straightforward, but I was able to read it easily. And this is kind of actually a really short upper prison. Like, there are some really long upper prisons where even if you go perfect route, it takes a while to get to it. So that's why maybe we saw some... Like, we saw a 10 minute with the movement speed. 